admit, at first I was shocked to learn I was pregnant. But then I realized that it would be the perfect way to get back at Valentine for using me to gain control of ELQ. That doesn't really sound like you're putting your child's needs you first. let me finish. Somewhere along the way, I don't know, something changed. And this became the most important thing to me. Something beautiful and, and sweet and good it could help fix all the damage I did. Bring us closer, I restore the family business. Look, if that doesn't all sound like a win-win, I don't know what does. Okay. Sweetheart, everything you've said has a certain logic to it. It does? I've said similar things myself. Love equals family equals profit. It's the quarter main philosophy. But look where it's gotten me. Estranged from my wife, a part-time dad to Leo when he needs me most, and worst of all, watching my beautiful daughter follow in my footsteps. And I won't let you do it. I will not let you make the same mistakes that I made. Martin. You guys can keep talking, but my mind is made up. There's nothing more to discuss. Well, I don't know what else to say. Do you? Look, Brooklyn, you were lurking on the terrace when I was talking to Valentine. I still don't know why I didn't jump on his deal. I was tempted, but look, Wiley has already lived such a turbulent life, I had to put my son first. Even if it cost me those shares of the family business. Great. You have a conscience. And so do I. Okay, forget the business angle. With all of his faults, Valentine, he's been a good father, a loving father to Charlotte. And whether you guys like it or not, he is the father of my baby. And can't you guys just put everything aside and make this work? For the baby, for, for our family, for everyone. I could not have said that better myself. I have contacts in the state. Do you guys mind giving us some privacy? Uh, Michael, you leaving? No, you? Not a chance. Look, I don't need your protection, okay? I don't see any reason why they shouldn't stay. I mean, thanks to the baby, it's kind of like we're all family now. I will never consider you part of this family, Dad, Valentine. Dad, let's just hear what Valentine has to say. Ned, I apologize. That was that was strong, and it sounded patronizing, and, and I'm sorry. I just, I want you to know, and the rest of your family, that, that I respect every decision you make regarding this pregnancy, and I, I hope that you trust that I'm willing to help any way that I can. Oh, Mr. Gray. Brooklyn, for a second chance. <sighs> You're the father of my baby. You have to find a way to cooperate. I think with honesty and respect, we should be able to make this work. That's the goal. I'll be in touch. Right. <sighs> Did you hear that? My plan is already working. Well, 